Hello friends and welcome to another video of Travel Tech. Now in this video I am going to show you one of the most useful apps for Digipad and that is the all-in-one speedometer or the speedometer GPS HD app. Now in this app you can visualize the both analog speedometer and the digital speedometer together on a single screen and along with that you do also get a real time speed graph which means you can monitor the speed of your car in real time in a graphical format and you can get to know how speed the car is going, how much you are slowing down and how much you are braking and this actually will help you in uh, planning for an efficient uh, travel that is you can improve your mileage by looking at the graph and looking at the way you are slowing down the car and how frequently you slow down the car so you can try to improve your mileage by looking at the graph and of course you do get a trip and a odometer also built in into the screen and the most advantageous feature is that you also get a GPS uh, signal indicator which shows both the GPS satellite location and the GPS signal strength of the current GPS position which has been regained. Now that is this particular app which is on the screen right now so let me just go ahead and click on it. So here you go this is the app interface or the user interface of the app and here right on top you can see, uh, see there is on the left top corner of the screen there is an analog speedometer and which also contains a digital speedometer in below right here as you can see. So both it is an analog and digital combined together and the best thing is the units are changeable right here so if you can see here there is miles per hour there is knots and kilometers per hour so if i click on the miles per hour the units change and it comes the digital display as you can see it comes up as mph if you click on the knots button it comes up in knots and if you click on the kilometer per hour the units change back again and here it is written as kilometers per hour so this analog stick also moves along with the speed of the car and of course the digital speed also shows up here altogether along with the proper speed of the car so right down below here it is showing as the satellite signal is normal so you can use this app in order to check how good the satellite strength signal is or the gps signal is of your car and right now it is showing that it is normal and below that there is a duration that is the total duration wherein the app was turned on and the distance which has been traveled and uh, below that as you can see there is a start time there is a max speed which is shown the average speed the altitude and the heading that is the magnetic heading all these detailed technical information is shown right below the speedometer display and here the big big box which you are seeing on the screen right now here this is the real time speed graph and this will start to change once you start traveling and right now my car is stationary so there is not showing anything so once the once you start driving the car and your car picks up the speed there is a graph shown up right here which shows how many peaks and downs you have so that shows how many times you have accelerated how many times you have decelerated and based on that you can actually calculate how much mileage you can maintain and how much uh, braking you are doing and because of that how much the mileage is getting affected and below that here is the GPS signal uh, logo or the GPS signal map here in which shows the uh, positions of the various satellites that are available or the currently the GPS signal is catching and also the satellite strength the green means the satellite strength is good and yellow means it is a decent or a normal satellite strength so here you can get the details of the GPS signal satellite strength this is the real time speed graph this is the trip and the odometer and here is the speedometer now all together everything is available in this one single app and you don't need to open up any other app to get this whole information all together at once in a single screen now this is a very useful app and most of you and those of you who are interested in getting the technical details of the speed and technical the other uh, specific technical details which i just showed you right now if you are interested in such kind of stuff then i think this is the app for you and of course this is not available in any of the cars and this is now available only for digipad and it's exclusively brought to you by travel tech so and if you do like this work and if you like the app which i have brought in front of you then make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also like this video because videos like this apps like this take a lot of effort and planning to bring out in front of you and if you do recognize that effort i hope you do support me by subscribing to my channel and that would mean a lot to me so going ahead with the video i'll just show if you just swipe on the left side of the screen here you get some of the options such as you can pause the journey here right here and of course you can get some track info and there is a gps turn on and turn off button as well so if i just go ahead and uh, click on the this click on the gps button it goes back into the home settings of the digipad and you can turn off the gps as well so there is a settings button as well but there is not much uh, important options available here but still you can go through the settings and if you find something useful you can use that as well 
so here is the settings button and uh, following that settings button you can go back to the original home screen and here it is showing the actual uh, speed of the car so since now it is stationary it is showing as zero so once the car starts moving this will show up a proper detail of the car so let me just go ahead and start the car and i'll show you what difference it makes and how well you can uh, see the difference in the car movement see the uh, variation in the change variation in the speeds and the, especially in the real time graph speeds of the car so that you get an idea how well this app works and you can install it in your car as well So as you must be seeing on the screen right now on the top right corner of the screen the graph is showing up and it is showing the current speed and since now the car has just started you are just starting to see the graph and uh, of course on the analog and the digital speedometer also the speed is coming up properly and nicely so you can assess that as well so you might be wondering that the speedometer is actually uh, looking very small is it visible from the driver seat yes i can assure you once uh, you start driving and from the eye view of the driver seat the speed is properly visible even the digital speed is properly visible and it's not like you'll have to search for it if you just take a glance on the digipad you'll be able to see your current speed both the analog and the digital speed as well so there is no improper uh, visualization or there is no improper focus from the driver seat as well so as you can see the graphical chart has started up and it is showing how much i am speeding how many peaks and downs i am having while accelerating or decelerating and of course it is showing my gps signal strength as well and currently it is showing that the gps satellites uh, six satellites are being used currently to, in order to gain my gps position so this is a very useful app uh, and uh, it, show, it is showing the real time gps strength in the analog speedometer as well if you can see those three dots in the middle right above the red dial so that shows the gps signal strength and along with that you get to know the analog speed and the digital speed both speeds are visual uh, are visualized directly in the same app in the same box so this is going to be a really useful app and uh, as i said earlier if you are a person who is interested in getting the technical details of his car of her car and uh, trying to find out some of the details which i have showed you right now you, this app is going to be extremely useful and as you're seeing the graph is now increasing more and more so let me just go ahead and speed up a little bit so that i can show you how the graph varies once you try to speed up and uh, of course on the left side or uh, that is on the y axis it is also showing the speed uh limitations of the speed the sets uh, that are been uh, standardized for this particular graph and it is showing the uh, proper speed so that you can assess even after going back or even after reaching your destination you can actually go back and see how much you sped up how much you brake and what was the speed variation what was the average speed of the car and what was the top speed which you reached during the entire journey and that will help you in recognizing what sort of a mileage you can get from your car and what sort of a mileage you might try to improve upon from the next journey onwards and uh, as you can see the analog speedometer is working really fine it is showing the exact speed right now and uh, that is showing about 40 to 50 speed and uh, even in my analog speedometer here or the digital dashboard i mean on the oem provided dashboard it is also showing a 40 speed and even here it is showing the 40 speed so it is properly showing there is no uh, speed variation there is no uh, variation in the gps catching ability of the particular app it is uh, catching a proper signal and it is working really well and uh, i think if you are interested in getting this app for your digipad i think you should go ahead and get it uh, as soon as possible so now that you've seen how the app is useful uh, how it can help you in getting some of the technical details of the car and of course it is showing the current speed in both digital and the analog format so now i am going to go ahead and show you how you can uh, download this app and install it on your digipad easily and of course and also show you how you how you should uh, avoid getting a sort of a parsing error in any way so that i'm going to show you exactly how you can avoid getting a parsing error and download and install the app easily and conveniently in the digipad so let me just go ahead and start the downloading process or start showing you how exactly you can download the app on the digipad So guys let's begin with the downloading and the installation process of the text speedometer 
So before I show you how to download and install, make sure your DigiPad is connected to the internet via a Wi-Fi dongle. And in case you don't have a Wi-Fi dongle, I'll leave a link in the description below. You can go ahead and buy that dongle as well. And if you don't know how to connect to the internet, I have made a special video regarding how you can connect your DigiPad to the internet. So that link will also be given in the description. So just go ahead and click on that so that you can get to know how you can connect internet to the DigiPad. And of course, you will have to enable the installation of unknown apps by going into the secret settings of the DigiPad. Now I have shown all of that in detail in my previous video. So in case you don't know how to do that, just, just go ahead and watch my previous videos you will get an idea of how exactly you can do that so once you have done that make sure you have a firefox browser installed in the digipad now i have made a detailed video regarding how you can download and install the firefox browser as well so in case you haven't installed the firefox browser also i'll leave a link in the description so that you can go ahead and watch that and install the firefox browser in the digipad so once all these uh, criteria are met then you just go ahead and click on the firefox button of your digipad so that the firefox browser opens up so make sure your internet connection is good and strong so once the firefox browser does open up just click on the url search bar and type in the following address that is bit.ly slash t r a v e l t e c h s p double e d o t e c h so that is travel tech speedo tech so this is the URL address guys that is bit.ly slash traveltech and speedotech. So just type in the same URL address in the Firefox browser of your digipad and click on the go button so that the Google Drive page loads up and you can download the app directly from the Google Drive. So let's just wait for the Google Drive page to open up. So as you can see the Google Drive page has loaded up and uh, just make sure that it's written here as tech speedometer. So right now it is uh, as you can see on the screen right now it's written tech speedometer and there is a download button right in the middle of the screen. So let's just go ahead and click on the download button and now it is going to ask me uh, regarding if I should use the Firefox user just once or always so I'll just click on the just once button right here so that the download may begin. If I just scroll down from the top down bar menu now it is going to show me the download progression and currently it is showing as 0% and now as you can see the download complete dialog box has already come up so let me just go ahead and click on the download complete dialog box so now since i have already installed the app in my digipad it is asking me to replace the application so i'll just click on the ok button so you will be greeted with this installation window just go ahead and click on the install button and wait for the app to get installed on the digipad so the app has installed so let me just go ahead and click on the open button and as you can see the app does load up and it takes a few seconds for the app to load up initially and once the app opens up you will get the interface which you just saw just now so this is the speedometer this is the real time speed graph here is the trip and odometer and here is the gps locator all of them all together in a single screen so now the app has downloaded and installed on the digipad successfully and you can do this on your digipad as well as a note of caution i want to tell you in case the downloading of the app using the firefox browser in the digipad gives you a parsing error or an incomplete installation error then make sure you go ahead and download it using the laptop or the smartphone method now i have shown exactly how to do that in one of my videos and on i'll also leave a link for that video as well in the description so in case you face a parsing error if you download it directly on the digipad do not worry you can still download and install it using laptop i have just shown that in a, i have shown that in detail in one of my videos so just go ahead and check that out in the description and in case you don't face a parsing error and you are able to download it directly on the digipad well it's good for you it saves you a lot of work and you can start using the app immediately directly by downloading on the digipad itself so that's it guys this is the app and i hope you all like this app and of course install it in the digipad and tell me how you feel once you have installed it and if you like this app if you like the effort which has gone behind in making this app then make sure you hit that subscribe button and also like this video because it has taken a lot of effort and planning in order to bring this app in front of you so do recognize that effort and do support me by liking my work as well so that's it guys this is travel tech have a really nice day